Hello. Have you ever been doing a PowerPoint presentation and had to come out of your presentation in order to show a web page or some web content or perhaps a video that's online? Well, in this quick presentation, what I'm going to show you is how you can embed live web pages and any web content, including videos, into your PowerPoint presentation using a fantastic, free, very easy to use plugin. So the plugin which I'm going to uh, show you how to use is called Live Slides. And you can go to the website liveslides.com. I'll put the link underneath this video. And this uh, free plugin, which you can see you've got a, a click link at the top right corner here, allows you to install a plugin that will add a new toolbar in Microsoft PowerPoint. So you go to liveslides.com, click on the download link, and then just simply install that as you would any other program. It just takes a few seconds. Once you're in PowerPoint, what you'll see is at the top here, with all your other tabs, Home, Insert, Design, and so forth, we have a new tab here called Live Slides. Now, if we click on that, it's not too much to it. And in fact, we're only going to worry about this first button on the left here called Live Slide. Ignore the rest for the moment. So let's uh, try and embed a live web page into our PowerPoint presentation. So I'm going to go uh, to my browser here and I'm going to go to the BBC News web page. So all I have to do is click in the address bar at the top here, copy that address and then go back to my PowerPoint presentation. Now there's no need to add a new slide for this, it'll happen automatically. So all I do is click on the live slide button at the top left and a little pop-up will appear which will ask me to paste in the address of the web page. So in this case I'll just simply control V to paste in the BBC News technology page, that's all there is to it, and click insert. So a new um, page, new slide, has been added to my presentation. You can't see the web page until you play the presentation. You just see this um, stock image uh, for the moment. But as soon as we start playing the presentation, we'll see the web page. Now let's add also a page that contains a video. So I'm going to go to YouTube. Uh, but this will work with any website that contains videos, so Vimeo, uh, for example, another popular one. Uh, but I've gone to uh, YouTube, I've gone onto the page that contains a video, and again, all I do is click in the address bar, copy that address, go back to my presentation, and click on Live Slide. So in this case, again, I simply paste the address of that video and click insert. We get the same stock uh, picture here in our presentation but it will appear when we play the presentation. Let's have a look at that now. I'm going to go back to my first page here. I'm going to play my presentation and there we are. That's my title slide. If I now move on to slide two there's a moment where it loads, there we are, but we're in. This is now still in PowerPoint, so I'm still in Microsoft PowerPoint, but we're looking at not just a picture of the BBC News webpage, um, it's a live website, basically. I can click around, click any of these links, and demonstrate the website, um, scroll up and down through that website, and it's just like having your browser but within uh, PowerPoint without having to alt tab or switch out of or cancel your presentation. Now at the bottom right corner you'll see we've got the next slide and previous slide buttons. Uh, you can hide those controls, there's a link down here on the bottom left, but that's quite handy for being able to uh, move on to the next slide when you've finished demonstrating your web page. 
Now, of course, the next slide is the one that contains the video. So if I click on the next slide, there we are. We've loaded up the, I'll pause that, um, but we've loaded up the video um, and played it full screen without having to click any other buttons or do anything. So that is really as simple as it gets. It is a very quick and easy to install plugin. It's a very easy to use single button to insert any web page or any video content. Um, and no, I'm not being sponsored or paid to promote this particular plugin. Um, I just think it is genuinely a really good little tool for anyone to use and it really does make it so much better than having to switch out of a presentation to show some other content. So I hope you found that useful, um, as useful as I did in fact. Um, if you did enjoy this video please do give it a thumbs up and it would be fantastic if you could subscribe to the channel as well. And of course do share this video if you think other people would find it as useful as you did. Um, thank you very much indeed for watching and I'll see you in the next video.